2C flies so high, space shuttle technology is used. Project manager, Dr. Pierre Frank. The pilots are flying in pressure suits, and in case they have to be inflated, uh, they must be able to operate these circuit breakers. breakers. So these are push-pull circuit breakers, like on a space shuttle, for, for example. Uh, these are special for this aircraft. The Strato 2C is designed to take two scientists up into the stratosphere to examine atmospheric conditions, such as the deterioration of the ozone layer. It can operate in external temperatures as low as minus 90 degrees Celsius. Two specially modified six-cylinder liquid-cooled engines power the Strato 2C through five bladed propellers. You see the prop? which is custom made. It's a wooden composite prop turning at, at very low RPM. It's turning at about 600 RPM. The prop is connected to the engine with a gearbox, which is sitting there. Everything else here is used to do the compression of the air. We need a compression ratio of almost 40 at high altitude, and also to cool. This is an exhaust for low altitude. The engine exhaust leaves the turbocharger directly here for low altitude and at high altitude the exhaust drives the gas generator which is here is intercooled and comes back to feed the engine not surprisingly many governments and institutes around the world are interested in this unique german aircraft being able to accurately assess the state of the ozone layer and monitor global warming are just two of its many appealing features. It can also be used by scientists for precise weather forecasting by forewarning of natural disasters such as tropical cyclones and tornadoes. And as for the future, well, with a maximum altitude of 24,000 meters, the sky is far from the limit for Grob Strato 2C. The discipline of formation flying began in war, but now in...